Hi homeschoolers, it's me Jazz again from Hidden Library Homeschool and I'm back with another video. In this one I'm going to show you what my third grader will be using for science for the 2017-2018 school year. And out of all of our curriculum that I have bought and that I will purchase, I think I'm most excited about this because we are going back to Nancy Larson Science. <laughs> I'm excited about this because we did Nancy Larson K a couple of years ago. I bought it you know, around tax time when my son was in pre-K for the upcoming kindergarten year. But we were so excited about just, you know, getting science in a box and it coming to the house and being new homeschoolers. He wanted to dive right into it. I was excited about diving into it. And at the time with just one student, it was very easy to um, spend the whole entire afternoon doing science lesson after lesson and doing, you know, three, four lessons in a day. It was very easy to get through an entire year's worth of curriculum in just three months. So this time, I know we're going to have to pace ourselves, even as much as we have loved Nancy Larson Science in the past, I do want it to last <laughs> a lot longer than three months. But you know, with more than one student now, it should be easy to uh, just be like, okay, we're only supposed to do this lesson today, and we will do this again in two days, and don't worry, we'll still be doing science. So one of the first things that um, my kids were excited about when they when we got this box was this live butterfly garden and it comes with a coupon on the back for the larva and I was a little hesitant about this but the butterflies they do come down through this route here in Texas where we are on their way to Mexico so we should be okay with that. It also came with some plastic bugs which I'm gonna have to keep for my boys or they'll end up in the toy box. <laughs> it came with a magnifying glass, a tree cookie, and some pine cones. It also came with a ladybug land and when you open that up it has another habitat and this one is for the ladybugs and it has a coupon at the bottom prepaid for the ladybugs. It came with some of these photo cards which I did find come in handy. There are some things on here like a baby. My kids know what a baby looks like. But when you're talking about different things in science, some of the things that they may not see in their, um, in their, where they live, if I was in New York, they would be a lot more familiar with snow if I was back home. <laughs> but here in Texas, where we're burning up, they don't really see that. So it is nice to have some of those pictures on hand and it has different animals and whatever else you're talking about in science. Here, they might actually see some <laughs> a snake around here hopefully not but it would be more likely to see the snake than the snow here in Texas it also came with this book here Peterson's first guide to trees of North America it came with this book insects and spiders with facts about what I might consider disgusting little bugs <laughs> dropped it but my boys will just love. It came with this book here, Rookie Read About Science, Trees to Paper. What do scientists do? The Seasons of Arnold's Apple Tree. Your insides. And in the middle of this book, if you take the little papers out of it, it does have these clear sheets that go over a person and then you put it there and you're going to see, oops, um the different layers of it's going to show in different layers what's inside your body it came with some of these insect cards and this is actually two cards perforated and um there are how many of these 30 no, 26 learning cards it came with these worksheets, the student materials. And I only got one of the um, the student materials, the one that came with the curriculum because it says it's for ages five to eight. And I will have a five-year-old Tony, I mean Clark, and Tony will be eight, but only Tony is going to be writing and Clark will just be um, kind of tagging along. And it came with a lot of these little booklets. It has this one um, describing life stages of human beings. And then at the bottom it says developmental scientists and they would write their name here. 
observing trees, exploring sunlight, water, and soil, investigating animals and their habitats, discovering what's inside our bodies, examining the characteristics and life cycles of insects. So inside of this, they are reading about the different topics that they are learning about. And this is also what they're writing in. This is um, kind of more like a work text. And at the back of this one is the space to, if I can find the page, write down their observations of the ladybugs and the butterflies. It also came with, of course, a teacher's manual, and I love this because it is scripted. That may not work for everyone, but I like that it is scripted, tells you what to say, what an acceptable answer is, tells you what you need to prep for the lesson, um, anything that you need to um, what they should know before the lesson or to review and it also has a smaller version of the uh, students materials and the answers that would be acceptable on there and the last thing at the bottom of this box is true to life human x-rays and when you put them together it makes a five foot tall human skeleton it also came with and I'm not going to show you because it has a unique code on it um, an access code from a year, a year from purchase that you can use their online materials and um, use that within the, the um, science program. So that is all that is in the Nancy Larson science box. It did come with, uh, um, if I can pick those up, it did come with an uh, um, email that they sent me with some supplemental resources that um, you might want to include. They were, they, they do stress that they're just a supplement, they aren't needed, but they did find that some people did like using some of those books. And just off of our shelf, we actually had some of those books. Some of the books that were on the list that we had were The Giving Tree, Mr. Popper's Penguins, and these are all books that we've already done. How Do Apples Grow? What, what Happens to a Hamburger? The skeleton inside you, a tree is nice, and over in the metal. And those are just some of the ones that I could find quickly before making this video that we had on hand. There were many more supplemental ones that they suggest going to the library for. So you don't really need to add anything to this curriculum. The only things that I got extra for science for next year uh, was not much at all. I did get this book here, Meet the Planets. This um, level one does not go over um, astronomy or anything like that, but I did want to get this book. And this is more actually for Clark to go over the planets. And that, cause I like the illustrations inside of it. And at the back of it, let's see, are a couple of learning pages with different activities and information for the kids to go over. And the kids will be using these. Um, this is grade one, Skill Sharpener Science, and this one is for Clark. And then I also have Skill Sharpener Science grade three, and this one is for Tony. You don't really need to go over, you know, have anything else, but I did want this because this is something that is a little bit more colorful and they, um, not everything in here is stuff that Nancy Larson Science is going over in this year's worth of science. So I did want to have a little bit extra of some of the other topics that I wanted my kids to go over. And this has different um, short little experiments too. And it's nice to have something a little bit more colorful. So that is all that we are doing for science for next year. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to hold off <laughs> and not just dive right into it because it is very tempting to just get into it. But we won't be starting until probably September or so with this science program. And like I said, this is recommended for grades um, for ages five to eight. So since Tony is on the upper level of this, we might actually only do this within a semester and then do science two in the second semester, but I haven't really decided on that yet. We'll see how this goes. And 
hopefully we still love this just as much as we did a couple of years ago. So thanks for checking out this video from Hidden Library Homeschool. Please like, comment, subscribe below. Bye!